this field yes. for the nursing? Yes, uh, the very good question. He, he just asked, if your business, say for example you have branches, you have a chain store, we will talk about the franchise later on, if we have time. You have one store in San Jose, one store in Union City, one store in, in Auckland, for example. For each city, you need to pay for the city business license. And if you don't pay that, they can, they can find out. They can go after your advertising, your website, whatsoever. Yes, the answer is yes. Eventually, the more extreme case is just like I said. You don't even set up the branch in that city. You just run the business there, and the city can send you the bill. I just give you one example, right? You are, you are the real estate agent. Your office is in San Jose. You, you just happen to have one chance to get one listing in, in Pleasanton. And the city just give you the, the bill. Say you pay for the, and pay for one year. You only have one listing, you pay for one year. How about you, you the, the buyer's agent? Oh, for buyer's agents, okay. If you're a listing agent, they will, they will find you. But if the, the, you represent for the buyer, it's okay. No, not much problem with that. So any any questions? I know we have a lot of things to talk about. So if you have anything in your mind later on, you can you can ask. Okay. So from so for partnership right now we go to partnership. Partnership me is most is very similar as a so for partnership. However, right now you have uh, two or more people got together. But the fundamental is the same. Those people responsible for everything, including the legal liability. So if any creditor come in to go after, ask for the money, for the damages, just like a sole proprietorship, every partner be liable for that. So that means there's no protection. There's no liability protection. And always keep this in your mind, okay? For any kind of business, doesn't matter, so for partnership, partnership, even company, never overlook, never disregard insurance. Liability insurance, that is, that is number one issue. Okay, before you consider any kind of business, don't disregard, do not overlook the insurance to cover. The, and also, you need to carry uh, sufficient coverage, okay, sufficient coverage. And recently, I, I have one case, is is involved in the car accident, and uh, the person who hit somebody, and according to his description, the incident is not really severe. This person just hit one senior citizen, and that citizen just fall down, just sit down on the ground, that's it. No any bleeding, no nothing. However, a few weeks later, they received the medical bill is $200,000. $200,000 just for one incident. Uh, well, I, I just cannot understand. Say, according to your description, no any bleeding, no nothing, and this person even stand up, and no, not even ambulance. No, any ambulance on the side. But a few weeks later, my car received the bill, say two hundred thousand dollars. And unfortunately, his insurance only covered fifty thousand liability, fifty thousand dollars. And I, I asked why? How can you only carry this minimum? And he said, I don't know. I just follow out whatever the rule, the, the law require. And this fifty thousand is minimum. If you know that, this minimum required by the state. Minimum is not sufficient, by the way, right? So after this incident, this person go ahead and change his policy right away. 50,000, of course, is not sufficient. So apply to the business, same thing. Okay, consider to carry sufficient uh, insurance coverage, all right? So go back to partnership. There are three different type of partnership, okay? When we talk about partnership, could be partnership, that mean two or more people, each of them function as sole proprietorship. However, they relate to each other. They relate to each other, very, very dangerous, okay, very risky. Say A, B, C, three people is a partner. If A cause any damages to any third party, 
B and C also be liable as long as we think their business. Mm. Understand? Yeah. So that really means you ex explore yourself to much more range. As a sole proprietorship, you only be responsible for yourself. You understand you're responsible for your act. However, right now, within the partnership, you will be responsible for your partner. <laughs> so that's even risky, right? More dangerous, so consider it. Okay, very, very dangerous. Yeah. And the second one is called ARP, limit partnership. So what's a limit? By the way, limit ARP is not ARP. Some people got confused. ARP means limit partnership. ARP stands for limit liability partnership. Okay? The difference is like this, okay? If you configure it as a limit partnership or LP, there must be at least one person, at least you can you can have more, but at least one person, at least one partner, that person must be general partner. That person carry the full responsibility. If anything happened, and the other partner could be as limit liability. Understand? So when we say LP, once in a while you, you may see LP. LP is not popular anymore. But for the constru construction business, for the builder, okay? For any kind of builder, say they build the new house, for those builder, developer, for each location, they set up one independent, separate ERP in order to protect them from another project, you understand? So even on the same name, on the same big name, however, each project is individual. So you may see LP once in a while, but 